Er, so I've said in the past that I would choose a revolver in the ending zombie apocalypse, just like found in the sci-fi show Z Nation, which is fucking outstanding. In the world's can you find zombie bears? But I digress. I said I would use a 357 revolver because of the prevalence of both that round and also the 38 special round. But the limitation is capacity. This one is five rounds. This is the Model 60. I've been motivated to pick up a new revolver. I definitely caught the bug and there's no looking back. So let's check this out. The Model 60 is chambered in the 357 Magnum. Great round in itself. Very efficient at what it was designed to do. But in the zombie apocalypse, shotguns prevail. I would love to integrate this 12 gauge shell into this revolver. But ultimately it will not fit. So let's step it down a little bit with a 20 gauge shot shell. Again, it is smaller, but it will not fit. So let's step it down yet again with the 410 bore load. Now I don't care what anybody says, this is a very efficient round and is extremely fun to shoot. I enjoy the fuck out of it. Again, this will not fit in this revolver. So Johnny Post Production hooks up Little Moto Magic so we have the ability in the pending zombie apocalypse to shoot multiple calibers and shotgun shells. Here we got the Smith & Wesson Governor chambered in the 410 bore shotgun shell, the 45 Long Colt, and the 45 ACP. All three great fucking rounds. For those of you who want a better comparison, we have the 45 Long Colt compared to a 357 as well as a 30 a Special. It's definitely a monster of a round. So now we have the ability to shoot multiple calibers, one being very prevalent. The 45 ACP is a very common round. 45 Long Colt may be a little tougher to find amidst all the walking dead and zombie bears. And the 410, Again, maybe a little rough to find, but at least you have three options. Now, let's get into a little more detail. The carry weight of the Model 60 is 23 ounces, roughly, and the carry weight of the Smith Wesson Governor is 30 ounces. So, I mean, it's pretty comparable, considering that that is a huge frame, and that leads us to the frame. It's built via scandium alloy, and scandium alloy basically has the same characteristics as titanium, it's just a little more expensive, and it's predominantly stronger than uh, aluminum frames. And the cylinder is stainless steel, so you get the inherent strength of that. I've shot 45 Long Colt Plus P in it, and it's fine, but the lightweight of the frame and the gun in total definitely kicks quite a bit, so uh, that's something to note if you're in the market. So for the sights, you have a notch post, and the front sight is tritium, inlay so you have the ability to acquire sight picture at night which is fucking beautiful because this i've been carrying for about a month now in this the desantis out of the waistband speed holster which is good to go wear it on my galco gun belt very comfortable and this gun is motivated all by itself but needs more moto giant post production please hook us up with the cherry and black VZ grips. Looks fucking beautiful. So I have not yet shot it with these grips, but I've shot it a bunch with the stock Smith & Wesson grips. And it is comfortable, but the recoil again is quite noticeable, depending on the load. But I found that the 410 loads were very snappy. They are quite fun to try to tame, try to control, just all out fun. One of the biggest things to note when purchasing this gun is that the 45 ACP rounds need a moon clip. So right there on the 45 ACP round, you see the moon clip. That affixes to the tail of the shell and affixes all the rounds together so that they can be chambered in the cylinder and extracted by said cylinder because these are rimless cartridges. As opposed to the 45 Long Colt there, you can see at the bottom, it has that lower rim and the extractor is able to catch that and push it out the expended rounds. So being new to moon clips, I ended up purchasing, which separates 45 ACP from the moon clip. Now we have to pay homage to the Taurus, which came out with this in 2010, I believe, the Taurus Judge, but I can't get over the fact that those are pretty much just throwaway guns and are only built at that price point because of the lack of production oversight, being that they're produced in Brazil predominantly. So the quality of manufacturing is not on par 
with Smith and Wesson and Colt. So that's my opinion, but again, aesthetically not great looking guns. $300 more, just buy a fucking Smith or a Colt. But I picked up the moon clips from Speed Bees, and you get 10 moon clips with the holder and partial moon clips here, where you could affix only two, so you, where you have only two 45 ACPs, two 45 long colts, and then two 410s, a mixed load. That's pretty good to go. So all in all, I am extremely motivated to have this as part of my collection. It is a very viable gun for concealed carry, very viable for home defense, or any scenario where personal protection is relevant, as well as being an extremely fun range gun, which is, in my opinion, very important in a purchase because, I mean, it's not to be taken lightly. It is a big expenditure. So if you're in the market, you cannot go wrong with this revolver. Extremely fun and efficient. Let me know what you think. Arr.